Alright, hello and welcome back everyone. As you can see, this is not Rome 2, this is the Byzantine Empire played on Medieval 2 Kingdoms expansion using Stainless Steel mod. We're back into this action, I think I might be one of the few YouTubers that are doing Rome 2 right now that are actually going back and playing their old campaigns. It's kind of funny, but uh, I am doing it because, oh, I know you guys want to still see this. This is still awesome, this is still great. We're pulling ahead. This is the strongest faction. And I just did that. So what I did here is the last time we left off with uh, this crazy fight here at Ragusa, right? So the situation was, it was a crusading army from Venice marching by. They weren't actually attacking me or getting involved in the fight. They were marching by and they've gone this way. They're over here somewhere in the, in the, for, uh, in the snow over here. And everyone else has moved along as far as these armies are just pushing past me and this one's going by. They're all going to Jerusalem doing what they're supposed to be doing. Alright, so that's all good. Oh, we have this pop-up here. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, excuse me. We need to get... Uh, damn, I really don't want to have to buy those guys. Oh, we'll have to look into that really close or in a little bit here. Um, Got some of these guys moving around, trying to acquire some new trade. Maybe something a little bit more worthwhile. Oh, now the silk is back up. Here we go. Let's get this back on here. Do a little of this. What are our... Uh, no, definitely don't want to do that. Okay. So I think we're... we're <laughs> there's so many things all over the place. It's all different. i got to remember where I'm at. Alright, we've got ourselves a little fort here. We're overseeing Brasov. We're still trying to do this. We have eight turns left to do it. Their fort, they've abandoned, and they've pulled back all their men towards Brasov, which is becoming a real, real annoyance. And uh, what I'll do is take my priest here, and we'll, I'll show you. Look at Got this stack here, and this stack here. I mean, that's, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, we got ourselves a decent bit of men here. I uh, was looking forward to do this, doing some fighting up here, but we know we gotta make sure that uh, this is gonna work out. Court Axeman, you know we're getting a free upkeep on these guys right now. Uh, we can actually make them. All right, it's all good. Just want to make sure. What are our options for mercenaries? Just a Balkan archer unit, which actually might be pretty effective, and they're pretty cheap. So I'll pick up a, one of these guys and actually stick it in that front army. So what I would like to actually do here is maybe get the horse out of this army and stick it in the back one, but not at the cost of it coming in as reinforcements, actually. No, no I just second-guess myself. Uh, I would like to get rid of the weak horse in exchange for the good one. That is a far better plan. And in fact, can this go back and be retrained here? Yes. That is the big winner right there. Silver Chevron on home you go, buddy. Get that retraining going on here. And at, we can't... Uh, yes, yes we can. These weak people, let's get them back. Doing a little computer action here, one at a time thing. And uh, you, you can even go back. Alright. We're going to refit this army into something more appropriate. These guys really need to be squished together, but I'd like to keep their uh, experience that they've gained here so far. All right, we have plenty of room to move in this infantry. There you go, much, and also you, much, and let's see, I think that's about it. I mean, these guys could be set home. I guess we'll do that too. There you go. Just so I don't, I don't forget. And I think that's that. All right, everyone's tip top now, pretty much in here. But we're just gonna st we're gonna sit. I would like these two armies to move, you know, take a step one way or the other, and give me another chance at this or fighting them individually. I'll take a crack at those armies, you know, standalone right in just a moment. But all right, so the situation I have here now: if I attack this army, which is still the crusade, oh, the guy left his army. That's what it was. There was a general here, face card, and he's ditched that army. If I attack these guys all by themselves over here, this will work out in my favor. As only bringing in the garrison and this, which is what I would like to do here. This is great. So we'll fight these guys, and then they'll have this as reinforcement. 
And if I'm lucky and kill everyone, I'll be able to walk inside this when we're done. And we can turn around and defend against the Crusading Army on their own territory. Now that is a steal and a half right there, if I don't say so myself. So I'd like to, you know, of course, welcome and thank you all for going back and watching this Byzantine Empire campaign. I'm, I'm still going to push through with this one. I don't, I'll be working on all of my campaigns. The only one I'm questioning right now is Pontus, but even that one, I think I'm going to continue. All right, let's start the deployment. We are in a shit all position. Wow, the AI can really stack themselves up on top of that one. And their reinforcements will come in off their right, so I might want to stack up over here and actually work to take this hill and cut them off. So we'll do a heavy stack here. And we'll actually lead the way with these ones. And you'll be my reserve. And the two general will man our right flank. Heavy style. All right. Oh man, it's coming in right behind me. Beautiful. Alright, let's turn around. Alright, let's think about this here. My javelin, I would like you to defend our this side right now. Spearman. Post up. What now was reserve? Lead the way. And how long will it take these guys to march? That's a good question. They have quite a distance to go, and unless they run, it's not going to be good for them. And me, I'm actually thinking I'm going to push... No, no, I don't want to sacrifice too much height on the hill. I want to be able to run back to these position, this position here quickly. All right. To charge right into these spearmen right now would be so funny. And their horse, but no, we're going to throw... They are going to get hit with a mass jab. What about here? And then they're going to get hit with a mass spear. <laughs> and man, this rain sucks. And this will be to stop their cav if they try to push on this one. Look at that armor, though. Damn, look at that armor. I hope we can break them with some javelins here. Here it comes. Yes. Throw! Come on. Do it! Do it! Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, uh, what are they doing? They ran away from the spearmen. Counter charge. Take out the calf. Move up. Prepare to throw, boys. Prepare to throw. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our and and forging a worthy victory. Come on, get rid of them. There's only nine left. <laughs> Come on, Javelin! Alright. Run here! Alright, you stop them. Take to the top of the hill. Are you throwing? What are your... Get, get, get. Alright, let's go. This way. Go. To the top of the hill, please. Alright, you guys are holding beautifully. Switch places. Going around the side here for a little flanky maneuver. Make it past. We're just doing a little disruption here. Oh, we routed him. Turn off javelins, please. Oh, 
everyone can go in now. Just run them over. Sorry, my Italian brethren. But it's the Eastern Roman Empire that's coming back. Look at that mob. So the the objective here was to hold as much of this hill as I could without having to uh, have to go up here. I went a little deep on this side, but my javelin held. That was that was it. That was the key there. So you can see the massacre. Of course, I won't be able to get those boys. But uh, this is the army that I really want to destroy. The reinforcement army was that coming out of the castle there of Ragusa. So, I'm thinking maybe there's a chance if I can get all of these guys dead. I don't know what ran away that way, but we might might be able to steal it. Let's go, Cav, come on. Oh, yes. I love when they just run in a straight line. And the other Total Wars do this, the new ones, they all run zigzag, diagonal, and... Come on. Collect! Yes! <laughs> Vroom! They ran right past him. Where are you going? Eat them alive! Sweet. Oh, damn, damn, damn. It's too bad he got 179 to run away. Just look at the kills in this javelin. Very nice. Oh, man. Such a great job. Alright. See, I was only worried about the Crusading Army because they have Crusader Sergeants and some other uh you know kind of uh on, only units you can buy from mercenary crusade units and they actually have really good stats oh man the whole point of this is to uh not have anyone left if they have the money i don't really need the money i would like to execute these people but what a what a sign that'll send to everyone else do i want to be that tyrant yet That'll do just fine. And they don't have the money, that'll do just fine. That's what was saved. That's what kept them the castle there. Unbelievable. We're so close. Hmm. Of course our relations are going to be abysmal with them. What do they think is going to happen here? Alright, we're going to stand here and see if this army doesn't uh, wander the way it's supposed to towards Jerusalem and leave us alone here so we can have their town. Okay, we're on the fish. I feel like, uh... Had some boat action going on around here. What's this? Where's my other fleet? Ah, here it is. Here it is. Oh, wow. We get some army down over there and take that. And this place. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We need to retrain. Let's start with you. And you. And we'll just queue you in. We can't buy anything here. Oh my gosh. We should have got a mustering hall. That was a mistake. Let's throw that in there so I don't forget. Get the mustering hall going. Here's the spy up here. We've got our information already on Rome. Oh, ho, ho. We're going to need a couple good stacks to go in at that one. We want to decimate everything over there. Reclaim. That was what we lost. Everything over here is going to just stay as is. We're going to, like I said before, we want to try and divide and conquer on these two armies. And what else do we have happening over here? All oh, right, the Turks are standing up front. We have a little bit of retrain to do. We've defended ourselves plenty of time over here at Shrub Zone already. We are proving ourselves mighty warriors. I'm sure there's actually some retraining to be done here. Yes, these guys are beaten up. We'll do these guys first. And 
to smallest. Oh wow, you should have been thrown in there a while ago. Switch places, my friend. There you go. There. I like to do them in order of weakness. Kind of makes sense to me. I don't know. Get the strong ones back first. Or the weakest ones to become a full unit, and the stronger ones are already a decent sized unit. So, you know, you know, they kind of keep keep pumping along. Oh, that's right. We're under siege here. I'm already in the retraining process. They have actually built equipment. We have seven turns to surrender, but we have lost some men. I don't think we're exactly going to go out on that. We know we can break them if they come in. That's not the issue. We have some reinforcements that we've been purchasing back here, which is great. Turkish, ooh, 445. And of course, this is far more damage, but you know, it's a difference of javelin and the accuracy of an arrow. Eh. Wow. It just costs a lot more, though. Huh. Upkeep, though. Gotta pay attention to that upkeep. Alright, let's do it. We'll take some of our missile cap capabilities. We've got our armor going over here, and man, I'm trying to think. Let's see, we need public order. I love the bakehouse. The bakehouse gives public order and population growth. Everybody loves their bread. Hmm, finally getting a little religious unrest here. That is not cool. We're at, we have the ability to make another priest, but I was kind of thinking we needed one up here in the northern territories instead of the eastern territories. And we just, oh my gosh, we just need a boat and we can go and take Syracuse right now if we wanted. Yes. I think we got ourselves a mission. I'm going to borrow you guys. No, no, you're going to stay there. You're going to stay there. You guys get inside. Oh man, I didn't even realize that. Look at this. We'll take this whole standing army. <laughs> nah, they're not going to do anything to me. There's too many. We will just protect ourselves to the fullest. Alright, and Syracuse will be ours next time. Oh, the next turn we'll be over there dumping off. Oh, it's going to be good. What else do we have going on here? Looking quickly. Brothel, garrison quarters. Where am I going to make this priest? We still got the mines going here. The Salonica. Some more bakehouse. Population growth. We need army. We're definitely going to have to get some more army. We need to send these guys up. We've already bought our mercenaries. There's nothing else we can do. I feel like I have. Here it is. Here it is. We'll get the garrison quarters here. And we'll start pumping out some men to start invading the northern territories here of Hungary. As opposed to going in only from our uh, far east side here. We're also going to need some reinforcements to go up through Ragusa's territory. Beautiful. We've already got this situated. Let's open up the Bowery here. What do you think? No, nope. we'll do our logging camp, get this done. This is going to be a castle that's going to need that uh, discount later on anyways. Beautiful. Cut down the distance. Population error. A public order problem. Athens. Man, I'm really looking for something to... Good old bakehouse. Population pays taxes. There's always some money in that. <laughs> And right here we go. Oh, you guys have been paying on low tax still. All right. And I could totally be dumping all these taxes up. And I know a lot of you do that. But on the beginning game like this, when these places aren't going to be actually doing anything for me other than providing money from population growth, I don't want to diminish that value right now. And everywhere else, well, I think we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Except for now. Oh, next time we're not making our money. <laughs> oh, that'll be interesting. So I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. And uh, next part, we'll look to see about taking Brass off again and moving new armies over to take Syracuse and looking to see how fast we can get some more men to Bari, then Ragusa, and defending against the Turks over here on the Far East. I'm sure this will happen in Iconium. We'll need some reinforcements in Trebizond, and then we'll try and push back. Maybe we'll take... 
Well, I'm not sure. It would be wise to, you know, wipe out the rest this next wave of Turkish cities and push them back even further into the territory of having almost nothing and being wiped out altogether. I mean, they're stretching themselves far back to the east, but that's just fine. We I only need to push about here to the Crusader states and then I'll hold and we'll try and worry about the north and the west. So I'm Snowhood420 guys, please leave those thumbs up in the comments at the bottom and I'll check you all next time.